Welcome to Excel Mage trick number 927. Hey, if you want to download this workbook 926 to 929, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we have some alphanumeric values, and we need to insert a zero. Now, try to do this with custom number formatting or even the text function. The problem is this is a text string. Uh, so what we want to do is this R1 needs to be R01. R9 needs to be R09, but then the rest are fine. R10 all the way down to and we get into the hundreds, right? Well, we can use the replace function, right? We're actually going to use the replace function to insert. So it's technically not going to replace anything, but we'll use the replace function to insert something into a text string. So replace says, hey, where's the old text? Right there. Come on, what's the starting number? The trick to inserting is to count one, two, three, and it's really the fourth character where we want a zero. We literally want to put the zero as the fourth character and push the one over to the fifth character. So the starting number is going to be four, comma, and if you're inserting instead of actually replacing number of characters, you put zero, comma, and then what's the new text? Zero close parentheses. So that will actually insert. Go to the fourth character, push the characters over there because there's a zero and put a zero in. Control Enter, double click and send it down. The only problem is that's not going to work down here for these. So we're going to amend this. That's fine as long as there's only four characters. Once it gets above four characters, we need something different. So I'm going to say if the length function just says, hey, how many characters are in this text string? So I'm going to say length. That'll say 4. So I'm going to say anytime that's equal to 4. Now this is the logical test. So length is going to give us 4, 5, later it'll give us 6. It'll only deliver a true when it's 4. All other times will be false. So what do we want if it's true? That little bit right there. We want the replace, value of true. Otherwise, comma, the value of false we want to sh um, just show that cell. So I'm going to click one cell to my left. So there we go. That formula will work all the way down. Control Enter. Double click and send it down. And it looks like it's working all the way down. And of course, we could uh, Control C, because those are relative cell references. Control V, Control, Control C, Control V, and then double click and send it down. All right, we'll see you next video.